Now let's get into the install. To install Zoops, just go down to Fantastico and click on that. This will be in your cPanel, which is yourdomain.com slash cPanel. And if you roll down here, you'll see Zoops. Click on that. And then it asks you to fill in some parameters in here. So we'll click New Installation. In this case, we're going to install it in the main directory. So we're not going to put anything in directory. If we wanted it to be in a subdirectory, we'd put it here. So if we wanted it in, say, subdirectory site, we'd put site in here. And then the location of our site would be yourpetshop.com slash site. But we're going to make it the home page in this case. Admin access data. So we give it a username and a password here. Let me give it a site name here. Then we give it a slogan. Then the admin email address and then click install. This will go ahead and it will set up the databases. As you can see, it's given us an error in this case, and it's telling us that the folder images exist, and we need to delete that for the installation to work. So let's just go over to the cPanel, File Manager, then into public underscore HTML, because that's where our web documents are on this server, and then find the images folder, click on that, and we'll delete the folder. And if we go back, click the back button, and then try the install again. We'll click on finish installation, and it goes and sets up the databases and sets up the shell of our site. And it's now set everything up for us. And it tells us that here is where our site is created, which is where we want it to create. And then if we click on that, and then we sign in, we can go into the admin panel. And there we are, we're all ready to start the setup. Well, that's the easy way to install it using the cPanel. You can also do it the manual way, which is considerably more involved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall this from the cPanel and then we're going to reset it up and reinstall it using the manual method. So what we do is go back to the Zoops overview, just click remove, so we prepare it for remove. and then we remove Zoops. And now that's been removed for it.